Hello guys, this is Angelos on Explore Russian. I'm in my local area here today and uh, I would like to visit the supermarket, the local supermarket. I want to show you how a Russian supermarket looks like, what sort of stuff you can buy there, what Russians uh, usually buy, what I do myself. It's been now a year that I've been living here in St. Petersburg. So today I would like to give you some general shopping tips, okay? So come with me, let's go. Okay, so this is it. In Russia, it's very typical to have these boxes here uh, before you enter uh, the shop, the supermarket. So you use them to put your bags from other shops, the other, other shopping that you have done. Okay, so you use them to put your bags or personal belongings like, uh, you know, whatever you carry with you. Uh, you put them in this uh, box, uh, you lock, you know, you get your key with you. Number five, you go and do your shopping. When you come back, you unlock, you get your stuff, you go home. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, Yabloki, okay, apples. You see two prices, this one and this one, okay? This is cena za kilogram. So this is the price um, per kilo. Okay, so 139 rubles per kilo. Okay, cena za kilogram. So you have two prices here. So this price is uh, the general price, and this is the price for uh, uh, the loyal customers of the supermarket. So you get some discount if uh, you have the loyalty card. Guys, now pay attention. This is very, very important. Uh, in a Russian supermarket, when you want to buy uh, fruits or vegetables, you have to first weigh your products using one of these machines here, okay? So uh, you get one plastic bag. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, so you get the plastic bag, I mean, from here, okay? Uh, look at this now. This is, my, this is my tip. You have to do it uh, very, very quickly, okay? You see, I'm an expert now. So what you have to do, let's say that you want to buy some uh, kiwis, okay? There, there you go. They're called kiwi. Okay, so I get my kiwis. I'm gonna get a couple for now. Okay, I get my kiwis here. I put them on this balance. Okay, I can now either uh, find the product by the number. So look at this 127. I can use this number. So, panomiru uh, tavara. Okay, by number of product. So, what was it? It was 100. Uh, 27, so I am here, 127, okay? If I press this now, automatically I get this paper, I stick it on my uh, plastic bag, and I'm ready to go to the checkout counter, okay? Otherwise, I can use the other function here, uh, menu uh, by uh, alphabet letter, so this is kiwi, okay? So there you go, kiwi. In some supermarkets, of course, you can uh, go to the counter and they weigh the, the, the vegetables or the fruits for you. But uh, in most of the cases, uh, you have to use these things here. You have to, uh, to weigh uh, your products yourself, okay? Because otherwise they will send you back. Another thing that Russians really love, pickled cucumbers, uh, agurtsi, okay? Salonie agurtsi. You also get pickled tomatoes here. Okay, this is another uh, very popular product here in Russian. It is uh, grains, uh, krupa, krupa. Okay, so this is my favorite one here. It's uh, grechka, grechka. You can see, uh, we have the translation here in English, buckwheat. Now, water. Uh, here in St. Petersburg, I always buy uh, bottled water, some of this, because the water is not clean, From the, the tap water is not clean. It's not recommendable, I had problems with my teeth, I had to go to the dentist for this. So always buy some of these uh, water bottles. Okay, you can see for example these two big bottles. Okay, water for 30 rubles. Okay, so we're talking about 12 liters of water 
for 30 rubles. Okay, so not bad. Okay, some basic stuff now like toilet paper. Okay, toiletnaya uh, bumaga, shampoo, shampoo для волос, shampoo для волос. What is this? Gel для душа. Okay, shower gel. Gel для душа. Зубная паста. Зубная паста. What is this? Зубная нить. Floss. Okay. Зубная. Зубная нить. Нитка. Okay, for the ladies this one. Прокладки. Okay, this is for the ladies. Okay guys, so you can see here some other products uh, that are a discount now. So this, uh, I mean, typical uh, shampoo. Uh, this is the price, 168 rubles uh, with the loyalty card, which is like, how many dollars? This could be something like uh, probably 2.7, 2.8 .7, I mean, quite cheap. Okay, so guys, uh, the olive oil is really expensive here in Russia because of course it's imported. Okay, so I am Greek, I love olive oil. Uh, in Greece we have lots of olive oil. Uh, here in Russia it's a pain in the ass, uh, seriously. So you see, it's quite expensive here for, for Russians. 626 uh, half liter, okay, olive oil from Spain. So, Russians use this uh, sunflower oil, which is cheaper actually, look at this. Okay, so this is another typical thing here in Russia. Uh, Russians love uh, shashliki, uh, barbecue uh, in nature, and they usually buy these things, these cures, uh, as a set. Uh, they are called uh, shampura, okay? One, this is one shampur, okay? Uh, they use this to, to do barbecue uh, on the weekends. What they also buy is this mangal, which means actually a barbecue set, okay? Very cheap, like 100 rubles, uh, this stuff, uh, okay? And you make it, you can make it really, really quickly. This is also very important uh, for barbecue, okay? Spichki, spichki, okay? Matches. And of course, what else do you need for barbecue? Charcoal. Ugal. Ugal. Okay, Russians love to drink, of course. Uh, there you go. Piva. Okay. Piva. Beer. Okay, of course, these are some uh, imported ones, so that's why they're, you know, sort of expensive. So this one is 181 rubles. Uh, I like this one, Blondie, Belgian beer. And uh, this is, uh, well, how many dollars? That would be uh, $3 for this uh, can of beer. And of course, Russian vodka, okay, so this one here, you know, is 1,000, more than 1,000 uh, rubles. So here in St. Petersburg, you can see we have lots of uh, products from Finland because Finland is uh, it's just next to uh, St. Petersburg. Uh, here you have some uh, kitchen paper and you see this is, uh, you see, this is some basic uh, product, okay? This is probably the most, the, the cheapest uh, kitchen paper you can find here. So that's why uh, products like this are usually marked with отличная uh, цена, okay, so perfect price, or sometimes you you may see that as красная, красная цена, which means again, very basic, uh, the cheapest uh, product you can get, okay, отличная цена or красная цена. Okay, what is this? Sol Marskaya, sea salt. Okay, um, guys, pay attention with this type of nouns, okay, that end in a miakiznak, okay, the soft sign here, miakiznak. 
uh, we are not sure, you know, especially beginners are not sure whether this is a masculine noun or a feminine noun, because nouns that end in a myakisna can be either feminine or masculine. So, what is the tip here? Uh, if you have an um, associated adjective like this one, marskaya, okay, straight away with this ending, you understand that this noun is feminine, okay? So, this is a very good tip. I have created, uh, I have written an article about this. I will uh, put it in the description so uh, you can read it, okay? Sol marskaya, sea salt. Okay, this is uh, the section with uh, pasta, macaroni, macaroni, okay, pasta, macaroni. Um, this brand is quite uh, popular here, okay, this is imported uh, pasta, of course, Barilla, you might have seen this. Um, again, I mean, have a look at the, di the difference, so this is 88, okay, Barilla, and this basic stuff, okay, another one, отличная цена, красная цена, okay, like basic uh, stuff, it's 15 rubles, really, really cheap, so half, almost, okay, four, uh, 400 grams of uh, pasta, uh, fusini, I don't know what's, what's this, whatever, uh, 15 rubles, what is this, Nutella, no, 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 uh, bye. Okay, this is another very, very interesting uh, detail here. So, Russians call this uh, black olives. They don't call them olives, but they call them maslini. Okay, have a look. Maslini. Okay, the black ones. Whereas, the, the green ones, these are alivki. Okay, olives. That's, that's so weird. I mean, I, I, I don't know why they do that. Um, I'm still trying, you know, to figure this out, why they do this. Okay, what is this? Kukuruza. Okay, corn. Kukuruza. Okay, so one thing that I really love in Russia is, of course, ice cream. And uh, have a look. You can get this really nice ice cream. You know, ice cream like this. Very natural, you know, just pure ice cream made of milk, you know and uh, at a very good price and uh, you can feel it. I mean, it's uh, it, the taste, I mean, you can taste the milk. So this one, for example, okay, really cheap. And of course, another, another popular product here in Russia is ikra, okay, caviar. 170 grams uh, for uh, seven, uh, 761 rubles, so I mean, quite expensive. Sometimes you can get ones that are really cheap uh, for 100 uh, rubles, but they're not original, they're fake ones. So these are the real ones. One thing that I really struggle with here in Russia is getting, is finding some good cheese. So uh, they have a big variety of cheese, but the problem is that I can't, I can't find these this hard cheeses. I mean, uh, like Parmesan and uh, things like that. Okay, Russians love uh, Sausages and ham, of course. So have a look. Kalbasa. Kalbasa. Okay. Kalbasa. Okay. Now, in terms of bread, uh, when I first arrived in Russia, I used to buy bread like this uh, in supermarkets. Really, really tasty, uh, sweet. Uh, well, it probably has lots of sugar. So after some time, I stopped buying bread like this because it's very sugary and probably it has lots of uh, conservatives uh, inside. I now buy bread at uh, bakery shops. Okay, so what is all this? Candies, okay? Guys, confetti, uh, confetti, candies. Guys, this is mind blowing here in Russia. When I first arrived, I was like, oh my God, you have such a variety of candies. Uh, delicious, uh, you want to try each one of them. There are, they have so many, okay? So what do you normally do? You buy some here, okay? You can see they have numbers, okay? 46, 44, and uh, you just do the same as you do with uh, the vegetables and the fruits. You get some of these, uh, you weigh them, and you put the price tag, you go to the counter. Now pay attention to this, okay? All this stuff here, uh, look, 
o crop. Ok? Deal. O crop. Uh, petrusca. Parsley. Petrusca. Parsley. What else do we have? Kinza. Coriander. Kinza. All this, these four, we call them zelin. Ok? Zelin. And we use it for soups, for example. Lettuce. Lettuce. Salat. Listia. Ok? Russians call this uh, salat. Listia. Leaves. Agurtsi. Sveji. Ok? Fresh. Cucumbers. Uh, so this is the sort of uh, cucumbers you get in Russia. They differ a little bit from the European ones, uh, I think. But uh, yes, this is the ones you get in Russia. This is probably the most uh, popular ingredient of the Russian cuisine. Uh, smetana, okay? Have a look, have a look at this. This is 15% of fat, okay? Smetana, which is like sour cream. This is the best thing you can put on uh, in your soup. Okay, another thing I wanted to, uh, to bring your attention to is uh, the organic products. So here in Russia, uh, we don't get as, uh, as many organic products as we get in, in, in Europe or in, in England or in America. Here I am in a big supermarket, so they have at least organic milk. Okay, you can see this is the organic milk, which is 100 rubles, 105 rubles. Okay, uh, and the typical one, the normal one is uh, 67. And guys, this is the most, most famous chocolate in Russia. Alyonka, so, so delicious, delicious, mouth-watering, Alyonka, okay? You get this one for uh, 69 rubles, right? No, I mean 46 with a loyalty card, less than a dollar, Alyonka. Mm. And of course, Russians love biscuits, cookies, okay? Pichenye, pichenye, okay? Have a look. There you go. Pichenye. Pichenye. This is a must thing, you know, that you, you, you're going to eat with, uh, with your tea, when having your tea, okay? Pichenye. I like this ones. These are made uh, from oats, okay? Avsiane pichenye. And of course, another must for your tea is varenye, jam. Okay, varenje. This is from uh, raspberries. Malina. Malina e varenje. Okay, varenje. And here we have smarodina, chornaya smarodina. Okay, black currant. Okay, guys, another uh, essential, you know, part of the Russian uh, cuisine dumplings, Russian dumplings. Okay, pilmeni. Pilmeni. Okay. Uh, these are delicious. You can have these, you know, with uh, chicken or uh, with potato inside, okay, Russian dumplings. So if you don't have time to cook, you know, you have this in the freezer, you boil them for a few minutes and there you go. You have a delicious uh, meal, okay, Russian dumplings, pilmeni. It takes hours, you know, to, to make these. Uh, you have to be very patient, you know. They make them all at once, uh, loads of them, and they, they fill the freezer with the uh, dumplings, the Russians. This is what they do, okay? Uh, the Russian grannies. Pilmeni. Okay, we're ready to check out now. Здравствуйте. Добрый день. Вот. Извините. Пакет вам пригодится? А, пакет не нужен. Э, спасибо большое. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Гречку. Карта лента у вас есть? А, это что, скидочная карта? Да, это карта на скидку, карта постоянного покупателя. А, понятно. У, нет, у меня, у меня нет э, карты. Может быть, вы желаете ее приобрести? Ее стоимость 200 рублей. Сколько? 200 рублей. 200 рублей, да? Э, ну, в другой раз. Да, да, спасибо большое. Спасибо. Давайте наличными, да. Так, без скидки получается 105 рублей, пожалуйста. 105 рублей, пожалуйста, 200 рублей. Да, пожалуйста. 95 будет ваша трата. Спасибо. Пожалуйста. Дача 
чек. Ждем вас снова. Спасибо большое. До свидания. Всего доброго. До свидания. И вам всего доброго. Спасибо. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And for all of you that you want to visit Russia, you want to travel here, study, find a job, uh, start your life in Russia, I have created a whole course with videos like this. So, links in the description and also right here, okay? And now, because it has started to rain, unfortunately, I'm going back home quickly to cook my grechka, okay? Пока!